Ghana United in Christ, Ghana, and I have a big deal for more. Said the Arabian, no, the next one hour idea, yeah, Israel United in Christ. What's our ha? Samson and a pound for a one hour, no more. You mean in our so I welcome the pastor in Studio B, and you will know what he is having for us today. Pastor, you're welcome, yes, sir, yes, sir. All praises to the most high in Christ. I'm glad to be here once again, live from Kumasi, brothers and sisters. As usual, we have a beautiful uh radio show presentation for those of you who are listening please get your pens and papers out your bible and tune in so my listeners will be glad to hear what you have for us today yes absolutely let's open up with isaiah chapter 9 isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6 isaiah 9 verse 6 today we're going to talk a little bit about salvation who is salvation for um Contrary to what your Christian churches teach here in Ghana and throughout the whole world, not only here in Ghana, Kumasi, they teach you that Christ died for everybody. And guess what, brothers and sisters? That's an absolute farce. That is a lie. Christ did not die for everybody. Christ only died for the children of Israel. That's what the Bible is about. The Bible is about Israel. All right. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6. Go ahead. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6. Mm -hmm. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given, mm -hmm. and the government shall be upon his shoulder. So, hold up. The Bible says, unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. What is this talking about? Jesus Christ. What government is it making reference to? The kingdom of heaven, which the black Messiah, Jesus Christ, when he returns, he's going to set up here on earth. Many of you, when you go to church, you recite something called the Lord's Prayer. You recite the Lord's Prayer, but you forget. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Is God's will being done? Hell no. God's will is not being done on earth. Why? Look at America. They just passed a bill not too long ago under Barack Hussein Obama that two men can get married, two women can get married. That ideology has spread throughout the whole earth. Now it's trying to make its way here to Africa. That's why late last year, those in the government here in Ghana, they were sitting down and discussing whether they should legalize LGBTQ. Guess what? Do you think there's LGBTQ in heaven? Absolutely not. That's why when you recite the Lord's Prayer, what you're asking for, not only are you asking for salvation, but you're asking for destruction. Destruction of whom? Destruction of your enemies. We're going to get that a little later as well. Read it again from the top. Book of Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. Mm -hmm. For unto us a child is born, mm -hmm. unto us a son is given, mm -hmm. and the government shall be upon his shoulder, mm -hmm. and his name shall be called Wonderful. So there's a title right there. Okay, his name shall be called what? Wonderful. Wonderful. Come on. Counselor. Counselor. The mighty God. The mighty God. So these are all titles for, for Jesus Christ. Since we opened up the show, uh, young man, Mr. Host, what's your name again? Odisheba Prince. Odisheba Prince. Edoshiaba Prince. Odisheba Prince. Edoshiaba Prince. <laughs> yes. Wow. Can I just call you Prince? Yes. Okay. You can call me Prince. I wanted you to know my local name. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, Mr. Prince. Yes. Notice what we're reading here in Isaiah 9, verse 6. It says, His name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God. These are all titles. These are all titles. That's why we don't get tripped up on the name. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Come on. The Everlasting Father. The Everlasting Father is another title for. Jesus Christ, right? Go ahead. The Prince of Peace. The Prince of Peace. Read on. Of the increase of his government. Of the increase. Of the increase. Let's concentrate on that word, increase. In order for a government to increase his government, what must you do on earth? You have to conquer. You have to conquer. How did the white man increase his government, brothers and sisters? Ask yourself that. How did the so-called white man increase his government? He conquered. He conquered. In America, there was something called Manifest Destiny. That was when they removed the Indians from their land and they pushed westward in America to what? To acquire all the states that you see today. That was an increase of his government. So what is the Bible saying here in verse 7 about God's government? Well, God is telling you that when Christ returns, brothers and sisters, somebody's government has to decrease tremendously. Somebody's government has got to go. Whose government has to go? Ibruni. Ibruni's government will be destroyed. Not only Ibruni. The Arab man's government has to go. No more kings of Saudi Arabia. 
No more sheiks of Dubai. Okay? No more, guess what? No more kings in Africa. No more presidents in Africa. There will only be one king of kings, one Lord, and that's Jesus the Christ. God says what in verse 7? Of the increase of his government mm -hmm. and peace, there shall be no end. And there will be no coup d'etats. There will be no overthrow of Christ's government. There will be none of that. The mere mention, the mere mention of overthrowing Christ's government off with your head. That's what the Bible is saying. It says, of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. There will be no more rulership of the so-called white man. No more colonizing Africa by the so-called white man. There will be no democracy, no republicanism. There will only be one government on this earth, and that will be the constitution of the Israelites. The Bible, the Bible is going to reign supreme in that day. All knees are going to bend to Christ. Every tongue shall confess and bow there and say that what? Christ is Lord. Okay? Under the rulership of the Israelites. Because it's going to be you and I, if we repent and we make it to the kingdom of God, right? Because that's our agenda. That's the ultimate goal. To repent under Christ and obtain the kingdom of heaven. We are going to rule this planet earth under Christ. That's what the Bible says. Read verse 7 again. Verse 7. Mm -hmm. Of the increase of his government and peace. There shall be no end. Read on. Upon the throne of David. Why? Because Christ descends from the throne of David. Go ahead. He descends from the seed of David. Go ahead. And his kingdom. And upon his kingdom. Go ahead. To other age. There's going to be order. There's not, there's not going to be any Ghana slay queens. There's not going to be any walking porta potties in the kingdom of heaven. There's not going to be no whoremongering in the kingdom of heaven. There's not going to be idolatry. There's going to be no Christmas, no Easter. No Ghanaian festivals, no African spirituality. God says he's going to order it. There's going to be rank structure and a constitution that's set in place that every person, every soul, not only the Israelites, every soul is going to have to follow under Christ, the black Messiah. Okay? Yesu yetuntum. Christ is a black man. Absolutely. Read. Come on. And to establish it. And to establish it. It's going to be well ordered and established through the Israelites. Go ahead. With judgment. With and what? With judgment. With judgment. For every, for every, the consequences to break in every law is something called a judgment. You in idolatry? Death. Adultery? Death. You speak against Christ? Death. Instantly. Instantly. Instant death. You're not going to be sentenced to five or ten years in prison. Well, no, there's going to be none of that. It's going to be instant death. Why? So all the nations round about might fear. That's going to be the increase of God's government. Go ahead. And with justice. And with what? And with justice. We don't know justice, Prince. We don't know justice. Our brothers and sisters in America don't know true justice. Recently, you just had a so-called white boy shoot up um, a uh, supermarket. A supermarket in Buffalo, New York. He killed 10 black people and 2 white people. Okay, and the white people he killed was by accident because there's video showing him actually about to shoot a white man and he says, oh, I'm sorry, and then he shoots a black person. There's going to be no justice for that, true justice, because you know what the justice would be in God's kingdom? Death, instant death, not prison forever, not jail time where you can have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. No, instant death. Go ahead, come on. From henceforth. From if, henceforth, go ahead. Even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. The zeal of the Lord of hosts. Who's the Lord of hosts? Christ. The zeal. His zeal. His burning desire for justice on this earth shall perform this. Get me Daniel chapter 2 verse 43. The book of Daniel chapter 2 verse 43. Because right here, we just... Do you need to translate or no? You don't have to translate, right? Mm -hmm. You have to translate? No. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, in Isaiah chapter 9 verse 1, we just read it said, of the increase of his government so in order for god to establish his government he must consume somebody else's government somebody's rulership has got to go okay let's get daniel first let's get daniel chapter 2 and verse 43 go ahead start. the book of daniel chapter 2 the verse 43 mm -hmm. and whereas thou sweat iron mixed with mary clay mm -hmm. 
they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men. So this is talking about America. This is talking about America as you read on down. Go ahead. But they shall not cleave one to another. They shall not cleave one to another. Go ahead. Even as iron is not made with clay. Mm -hmm. And in the days of these kings. In the days of these kings. Because remember what I just said, Prince. I said when Christ comes back to set up, set up his government, all the other kings, they got to remove their crown from off of their heads. Christ is going to take all their crowns. Okay, especially the so-called white man. All right, read on. Come on. And in the days of this case, mm -hmm. shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom. So in the days of these kings, shall the God of heaven set up his own kingdom. Remember the Lord's prayer, Prince? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. So somebody's kingdom has got to go. Bye-bye, Mr. Bruni. Bye-bye, Mr. White Man. Bye-bye, Mr. Arab Man. Bye-bye, Mr. Hamite Man. All nations is going into slavery when, when Christ returns. And then shall we see our salvation. Then it says to look up for your salvation draweth nigh. Go ahead, come on. Which shall never be destroyed. Which shall never be destroyed. That's why in what we were just at in the book of Isaiah, it said his kingdom shall be forever and ever. Right here in the book of Daniel, it says Christ's kingdom shall never be destroyed. Come on. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people. Now, okay, now here's the issue here. Because we started off, the title of today is, who is salvation for? The Bible says, read it again, that last part. And, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people. It says, and the kingdom, prince. And the kingdom. What kingdom? What kingdom are we talking about here, prince? The kingdom, kingdom of heaven. The Bible says, and the kingdom shall not be left to who? Other people. Who is the other people? Prince, talk to me. Talk to me, my Ghanaian brother. <laughs> talk to me. Because in the Christian churches all throughout the world, they say, we're going to hold hands. We're going to jump up. And sing, sing aloud in the kingdom of heaven. The white man and the black man and the Arab man and the East Indian man and the Hamite man. Everybody's going to be joining hand in hand, mm -hmm. holding hands. Yes. But the Bible says, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people. So who's going to be in the kingdom of heaven? Common sense, brothers and sisters. I know this radio show is broadcast to a lot of you in college. So I know you have some kind of sense. So who's going to be in the kingdom of heaven? If you have common sense, you guessed right. The children of Israel. The children of Israel. Read on. But it shall break in pieces. It shall what? It shall break in pieces. It shall break in pieces. When you break something in pieces, Prince, what are you doing? If I take this microphone and I break it in pieces, what am I doing to that microphone? Definitely you want to damage it. I'm destroying it. Destroying yes. It, yes. it says, but it shall break in pieces what? And consume all these kingdoms. We're going to consume it. That's why we just read in Isaiah, Prince, it says, in an increase of his government. When you increase your government, what are you doing? You're consuming everything around the area in which you're increasing. Basic physiology or physics. God is going to increase his government by consuming all kingdoms on this earth. Go ahead. And it shall stand forever. It shall stand forever. That's why I said there will be no coup d'etats in the kingdom of heaven. We're going to have a black man that's going to rule this whole galaxy, Prince, forever and ever. You should be smiling right now, Prince. You should be rejoicing inside of your soul. You should be rejoicing. You should be rejoicing. But you know what people are doing right now? Some of you turned off your radio show. Some of you said, eh, what are you talking about? Some of you, you love Ibroni so much, you cannot see life without Ibroni. But the Bible, the Bible tells you that Christ's kingdom is going to consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. Read verse 45. Verse 45. For as much as thou sawest that the stone was cut out of the mountain without hands. What is that stone? That stone is a representation of Christ, okay? He's that stone of offense. Okay, he's that rock. Go ahead. And that it break in pieces the iron, the brass, the clay, uh -huh. the silver, and the gold. Uh -huh. The great God has made known to the king how shall come to pass uh -huh. hereafter. And dream is certain. And the dream is what? And the dream is certain. And the what? And the dream is certain. So Daniel's dream is certain. 
Prince, Prince, mm-hmm. what does the word certain mean? Because I know in America, certain means for a surety. Okay. What does certain mean in tree? If you say certain in tree, you can't say certain, you be a certain. Oh, yeah, I can't say more. I want the listeners to get the clear meaning because what you said in, is the same as what we also accept in yes. English over here. Absolutely. Say, yeah, say, Absolutely. Yeah, I, I didn't know. ABC. Uh, ABC. Uh, it means say, I didn't know. ABC. Okay. Yes. Uh, that is what we refer to as certain. Yes, absolutely. So Daniel's dream is certain, meaning it shall certainly come to pass. Yes. Nature so when say, the, nature say ABC. Yes, In ABC. G. Yes. So Daniel's dream is ABC. Mm-hmm. So when Christ come back, that's ABC, yes. meaning it's certain. God said it's going to happen. God's word never goes out and doesn't complete itself. God's word is always made manifest through prophecies. One day we're going to look up and we're going to see a black Messiah coming from the from the sky to consume all of these nations. Yes, absolutely. I know it's hard to believe, Prince. That's why you're laughing. But guess what? Daniel's dream is certain. Daniel's dream is ABC. Get me Revelation chapter 2, verse 26. Because we read that this rock, Christ, is going to consume and break in pieces all nations. Watch this. Revelation chapter 2. Book of two. Revelation chapter 2, the verse 26. Mm-hmm. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. So what is this talking about, Chris? When it says he that overcometh, is that overcome their own personal sins, trials, and tribulation? You must overcome. You must overcome. You must do your due diligence to keep God's commandments unto the end. Either Christ makes his second return or you pass away. Whichever one comes first. He that overcometh, go ahead. Unto the end. Uh-huh. To him will I give power over the nation. Stop. Prince, I have an issue. Mm-hmm. There's an issue. There's an issue with all your pastors. Mm-hmm. Because they teach you that all nations are going to inherit the kingdom of God. Am I correct? Yes. That is the doctrine that is taught on this whole earth Mm -hmm. but right here in revelation chapter 2 which speaks about the latter days christ says and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end to him will i give power over the nations not equal to prince not subordinate it says over the nations what does that mean prince when you have power over nations, what does that mean? Does that mean you're equal to them? Come on, speak to me, my Ghanaian brother. My yeah. Ashanti. Speak to Ashanti me, my Ashanti God. brother. Yeah. It means you have power over everything. You have yeah. power over them. Yes. You have power over them. That's why there's going to be an increase of his government. That's why the stone is going to consume all other kingdoms. Why? Because we're going to have power over the nations. And what are we do? What are we gonna do with this power? Are we gonna put rose petals in their hair? Are we gonna serve them jollof rice on silver platters? What are we gonna do, Prince, with this power? Read on. Verse 27. Mm-hmm. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. We're gonna rule them. Them is plural, correct? Yeah. Them means more yeah. than one. Yeah, it's, it's We're gonna true. rule them, meaning the nations. We're gonna rule them with what? With a rod of iron. With a rod of iron. What do you do with a rod of iron? It doesn't say a wand. It doesn't say a magic wand. It doesn't say we're going to rule them with rose petals, a bouquet of flowers in your hand. God says, I'm going to put a rod of iron in your hand. What are you going to do with it? As the vessel of the potter shall they be broken to shivers. Mm. It says, as a vessels of potter. As a vessels of potter, prince, they shall be broken to shivers. Broken to shivers. Come on. Even as I received of my father. Even as I received of my father. Now let me ask you something, Prince. Why does it say that they shall be broken to shivers? What happened to the black man, the Israelite man here, scattered throughout Africa? Were you broken to shivers? Absolutely. Yes, you were. Have you forgotten that you were colonized? Has you, get me Deuteronomy 28, 33. Did you forget what happened to your ancestors? You see, that's the problem with black people. We forget. We forget. We forget history. The white man don't forget history. Till this day, they still speak about 9-11. Till this, till this day, they speak about 4th of July when they got independence from another group of white people. They still speak about that. But they tell you black men, don't forget your history. They tell you black men, let's whitewash your images. 
All your images that we had throughout Europe of Christ being black, they whitewashed that. Let's teach them religion. No, forget about the past. We can all get along. Oh, turn the other cheek. That's what they teach you. But they don't forget about history. Give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 33. Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 28, the verse 33. Why did God say, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken? Go ahead. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. Uh -huh. And thou shalt only be oppressed and crushed always. You wondering why in 2022 was suffering? How long have you been here in your country? A very long time. Yes. But you were colonized. Your Ashanti forefathers fought. They fought the British man. Yes. All of those wars where we were slaughtered from the Apra River all the way here to Kumasi. All the Ashanti kings that were taken and sold and sent over there to Seychelles Island, like Pempra the First. Yes. All of these, and even forefathers sent to the Americas, like Taki. Taki, who was sent to Jamaica. Kujo, sent to Jamaica. Queen Nana, sent to Jamaica. All of these people were broken to shivers. <laughs> We were broken. God did not forget. God said, I'm going to give you power over the nations to do unto them as they have done unto us until this very day. Get me Revelation 13 verse 10. That's the problem. You guys are comfortable. Father, we're comfortable. We're too damn comfortable. Yes, before we come on to Revelation, uh, uh, most of the Africans, mm. most of them regret for fighting the white men. Because these days, they know things are very, very difficult mm. in African year. And we are fighting to travel ourselves to the white man's land to seek for greener pastures. Mm. Do you agree with them, those who say our forefathers shouldn't have even fought the white men? Well, they're destroyed. Yes. They're destroyed. Let me show you what. Uh -huh. Get me um, Hosea 4 verse 6. Jose. Meanwhile, you can also join the conversation. Mm -hmm. Very soon, we open the phone lines for you to them. But for now, you can come in with your test messages via 0559-866-8841. Uh, you can also send your test messages. If there is anything, any question you want to ask, uh, you also uh, do over here justice to that and then answer it for you. 0559-866-8841. But if you want to speak to our brothers from the Israel United in Christ, you can call them, always call them on 020-744-2316, or 0540-859255, I'm taking it again, 0540-859255, you can call and they will respond to any uh, concern that you raise over there but for now you can send us your sms and we will uh, ask our deacon here to explain whatever concern if you have any contributions you can also send via yeah, 0559 deacon let's hear from yes you. let's go with uh hosea 4 verse 6 because you mentioned you said something great yes because those of our people who think like that a lot of them do it out of ignorance and the ones that do it with willful stupidity those are in America we call coons. Mm -hmm. That's there's a name for them, coons. coons. People that suck up to white people who always want to sympathize with the oppressor. We call them coons. And guess what? Mm -hmm. Raccoons are not just indigenous to America. You also have coons here in Africa. Let me show you something. Go ahead. Hosea 4 verse 6. Go ahead. This is the book of Hosea chapter 4 the verse 6. Mm -hmm. My people mm -hmm. are destroyed for lack of knowledge. God says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Read on. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Because you rejected knowledge, which is God's laws, right? I'm going to reject thee. God put curses on us. He sent us into slavery, colonization. It's written all throughout the Bible. Read on. That thou shalt not shall be no priest to me. Come on. See, thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. So do you know what else did we, for we forgot? We forgot all the things that the nations do to us. We're the only ones that say, oh, let's go make allegiance with the so-called white man. Let me show you what so something that God said about the past. Get me Ecclesiastes 3.15. Like I said earlier, the people that speak like that, they're destroyed for lack of knowledge. And it's not their fault. The white man came here. He took your resources, but he gave you he gave you white man Jesus. Watch this. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 15. This is the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, mm -hmm. verse 15. Mm -hmm. 
That's this is something that I want all my brothers and sisters in Ghana to understand. Read. That which has been is now. That which that has been, my brother Prince, mm -hmm. that which has been is now. The things that was going on yesterday is still going on today. Go ahead. And that which is to be has already been. That which is to be has already been. Go ahead. And God required that which is past. God always requires that which is past. So God uh, is going to take everything into judgment. Oh, oh, hold on, again. please. Those mm -hmm. calling should uh, not call for now. You can send the SMS for now. But uh, very soon we shall open the phone lines. But for now, don't call. Please, you can only send the SMS via 0559-868841. I'll read your messages. Uh, don't forget that Dickens says uh, Jesus Christ <laughs> died for, uh, did not die for everybody, right? Yes. Uh, uh, he died for which people? The 12 tribes of Israel. Only the, how, do you, how do you say it? Only again? the 12 tribes. Yeah. Israel, Abu Sienku, Dumienu. Israel, Abu Sienku, Dumienu. Omu Kwana, Jesus Christ, Omu Ma Omu. Yes, uh -huh. whatever you said, you said yeah, it good. That Israel, Abusia, Israel, Abusia, cool. Israel, Abusia, cool. Do me, you know. Omu kuana Christ, Uma, Omu, na Omu Amo, He yes. didn't die for everybody, but he died for only the 12. Yes, tribes, the 12 tribes, tribes of, of Israel. Israel. That is what I said. Yes, and he's a black man. Yes, we are Tum Tum. Good. So if you want to raise any concern on that, you can send your SMS. When the phone lines are activated, you can call. But for now, please, those that are calling to uh post on that you will activate the phone lines for you to call when the time is due you can yes. send your sms via 0559 8688 let's hear from you where yes you. so god requires that which is past we're the only nation that they teach us to forget about the past mm. now get me revelation 13 verse 10 i want to show you this revelation yeah. because when christ come back he's not playing brothers and sisters with the other nations this is this is the destiny the manifest destiny of the other nations. Revelation 13 verse 10. Revelation chapter 13 the verse 10. Mm -hmm. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Mm -hmm. He that killeth with a sword must be killed with the sword. Who brought us into captivity? Who led us, brothers and sisters, into captivity? Who took Prempe the first and put him in Seshless Island with all the other Ashanti kings? Was it not the British? Who led Taki, the Fonte chief king, all the way to Jamaica? Was it not the British and so forth? Wasn't it them? God says, who lead us into captivity shall go into captivity. Did you forget what happened at Cape Coast? With Elmina Castle, which is still standing? Was it not us who were sold into slavery? Read that again. Read yeah. what did what did Christ say? Revelation Read again. What did Yesu? Yesu. 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 What did Yesu say? Come on. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. It didn't say maybe, Prince. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters of Ghana, even with a third grade reading comprehension, it said shall, shall, shall. Future tense. That's the prophecy. That's why the dream is certain. Daniel's dream is certain. It says, he says, he shall what? He shall go into captivity. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Read it. He that killeth with a sword uh -huh. must be killed with a sword. Read on. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. When you have faith in something, Prince, what are you doing? When you have faith in something, what does that mean? What are you doing? Yeah. Does that leave you have faith? You adore that thing. You adore it? Okay, what else? Give me some more. Give me some more. Look, if you have faith in that thing, it means uh, you always, you cannot go without that particular thing. Okay, and you can't you go believe. without it. So let me ask you something. If mm -hmm. you have, if you're in college, because this is a college, yes. let's say I'm taking up a discipline in biology. Mm -hmm. I want to become a doctor one day. How would I prove that I have faith of becoming, of a, becoming doctor. a doctor? What must I do? You must study a lot. You must study a lot. You must believe that one day yes. you're going to graduate with yes. good grades. Yes. You're going to take whatever you, you um, must, exam you to must get into. Hopes. You must have hope. Very good. I'm glad you used that word. You have to have faith that one day, or hope that one day, through your actions, that you're going to get what you're working for. Yes. Christ said, here's the patience and the faith of the saints. 
But prior to that, he said, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. This is what we're supposed to patiently wait for and have faith is going to happen to the other nations by us doing what? Having faith in Jesus Christ and keeping his commandments. Let me show you something. Romans chapter 8, verse 23. Start at verse um, 24, 24 and 25. Go ahead. Book of Romans chapter 8, the verse 23. 24. 24. Mm -hmm. For we... Are saved by hope. How are we saved? We're saved by hope. We will be saved by hope. That hope is faith. Faith of what? Christ. Mm -hmm. And everything that he's coming back for. You must believe that Yesu Yetum Tum. Mm -hmm. You must believe that he's a black man. You must believe that you are from the 12th tribe of Israel. You must keep the commandments of God to the best of your ability. You must believe that the other nations will be destroyed when Christ makes a second return. Go ahead. Come on. But hope. That is sin. It's not hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. If Christ was already here in the flesh, we would not hope for him to make his second return because he's already here in the flesh. But Christ is not here in the flesh. But what are we doing? We're having faith and hope that he's going to make his second return. Go ahead. For what a man seeth. What you see with your eyeballs. Why do I see yet hope for? Why do you um why do you yet hope for it? We don't see Christ with our eyes now. But we can read our constitution and read and visualize how our forefathers look when we read scriptures like Revelation 1.14. That his skin looked like it was burnt in, in a furnace. Burnt brass. We read Jeremiah 14 verse 2. We have hope in that. We can visualize what our forefathers looked by because it's written in the Bible. Read on. But if we but, hope for. But if we hope for. That's. Yeah. We see not. Uh -huh. Then do we do we with patience wait for it? Read it again for our brothers and sisters of Ghana. But what? if we hope for that we see not. But if we hope for that we see not, Prince. Go ahead. Then do we with patience wait for it? But we patiently wait for it. Why? Because we had faith in it. We had hope in it. So we patiently wait. Remember what Daniel said. Mm -hmm. The dream is certain. It's going to come to pass. One of these days, the black man called Jesus Christ is going to crack those skies. But then it might be too late for our brothers and sisters to repent. Watch this. Watch this. Get me, you finish with Revelation 13 verse 10. Get me Matthew chapter 1. Watch this. Matthew chapter 1. Matthew chapter 1. And I want you to read. Let me get it. Let me get it. So what are we teaching? We're teaching that we are the 12 tribes. Of okay, the once nation. you are getting Matthew chapter mm -hmm. 1, Esther says, uh, she wanted to answer this for her. Mm -hmm. She says, greetings to you, brother. You've done well for teaching us this. And I want to know that if Jesus Christ is a black man, what about his mother, Mary? Mm -hmm. is, is she also a black woman? Absolutely yes. Absolutely yes. And we can prove that. Think about it. Think about the question that you're asking. Is your mother is your mother black? Absolutely. More than likely she is black. Mm -hmm. You walk all throughout Ghana, whether it's in Accra, Kumasi, anywhere you go on the continent of Africa, it's black people. Where was Israel? Israel is in northeast Africa. Mm -hmm. Egypt is in northeast Africa. Since she since we're in Matthews, let's get Matthew two and verse 13. Watch this, Prince. Because Egypt is in Northeast Africa. Correct, Prince? Okay, watch this. Go ahead. Of Matthew chapter 2, the verse 13. Mm -hmm. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise and take the young child with his mother and flee into Egypt and thou and be thou there until I bring thee word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. You hear that? Be thou there in Egypt, because Herod, the white man, wanted to destroy the baby Christ. So the angel appeared unto Joseph, a black man, appeared unto Mary, a black woman, said, take your baby, who is supposed to be the savior of Israel, and run into Egypt. Flee into Egypt, another dark country, on in a dark continent. Okay, why? Because they could hide amongst other black people. Think about it. If Jesus Christ was white, common sense now, right? If Jesus Christ was white, mm -hmm. they would stick out like a sore thumb in Africa. You would see them, everybody be looking, oh, 
Hey, Brony! Hey, Brony! He's right there! <laughs> no, Christ was a black man. He blended in with amongst everybody else. He blended in amongst everybody else. Let's get one more for you, just in case some of you have doubt. I didn't yes. forget about the topic. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Genesis. Go to Genesis and get me... Where's the chapter? Where's the chapter? Get me... Um, uh, get me Genesis 50 and verse... Let me see. Joseph, uh, Genesis 50 and verse 7. Mm. Watch this. Book of Genesis chapter 50, the verse 7. Mm. And Joseph went up to bury his father. So Joseph's father was Jacob. He died mm -hmm. in Egypt. Mm -hmm. Pharaoh told Joseph, go. Go up to bury your father, meaning leave Egypt. Because remember, Joseph was what? Second in command mm -hmm. in Egypt. Yes. He says, Joseph, go bury your father. So they left Egypt to return back to the land of Canaan also known as Israel. Israel. Watch this. Go ahead. And with him went up all the servants of Pharaoh, mm -hmm. the elders of his house, mm -hmm. and all the elders of the land of Egypt, mm -hmm. and all the house of Joseph, mm -hmm. and his brethren, mm -hmm. and his father's house, mm -hmm. only their little ones, and their flocks, and their heads, mm -hmm. they left in the land of Goshen. Jump to verse 11. Verse 11. And when the inhabitant of the land... Stop. And when the inhabitants of the land, in the land of Canaan, yeah. what, what, what were they called? The inhabitants of Canaan. Okay. They were called the Canaanites. Yes. They come from Ham. Those were black people. Those are the ancient, ancient, pure-blooded, nihilotic, nihilot, hermetic nations. Okay, go ahead. And when the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites, saw the morning in the floor, Come of, on, of, of a tab. Uh -huh. They said, this is a grievous warning uh -huh. to, Egypt, to the Egyptians. So who did the Canaanites confuse the Israelites with? Because they were amongst other Egyptians. They said, this is a great mourning to the Egyptians. So the Israelites looked just like the ancient, not the people in Egypt today. Those are Arabs and oh. Greek babies. The ancient, ancient, ancient Egyptians look just like your modern day Sudanese and Watusi people. They were black. That's our, all throughout the pyramids. What color are they? Black. But we can't get throughout that throughout our heads. Why? Because we have become stupid in with the doctrines that we have in society today. With Ibruni, the so-called white man's doctrines. Now watch this. Where were we? Matthew chapter 1 and verse, read verse 1. This is the book of Matthew chapter 1, the verse 1. So what is the purpose of Christ? Let's read it. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. the son of David, mm -hmm. the son of Abraham. Jump to verse 21. Verse 21. Mm -hmm. And she shall bring forth a who's, son. Who's the she? Mary. Go ahead. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. So Jesus was the son of Mary. Go ahead. For he shall save his people. He shall save what? His people. His is a possessive noun. Right, Prince? His is a possessive noun. Yes. He shall save his people, Prince. Go ahead. From their sins. Uh huh. Now all this was done. He shall save his people from what? Their sins. Their sins. Now jump up to. Are we short on time? No. Okay. Yeah. Jump to verse seventeen. Verse seventeen. So all the generations from Abraham to David. Uh, 14 generations. So from Abraham to David, brothers and sisters of Ghana, was 14 generations. Come on. And from David unto the carrying away into Babylon, are uh, 14 generations. So from the time which was the kingdom of heaven, from the time the kingdom of heaven under David mm -hmm. to the carrying away of Babylon was 14 generations. Mm -hmm. When it says the carrying away of Babylon, Prince, we were slaves to okay. the ancient Babylonians. Okay. When you read about Nebuchadnezzar, that was one of the kings of Babylon. Those were also black people. Go ahead. And from the carrying away into Babylon unto Christ are 14 generations. Why did we need? Why did we need a savior? Because we were always being carried into slavery. That's why the forefather Jeremiah said, Israel, are you a homeborn slave? We was always going into slavery. Henceforth today. How did we get into America, Prince? Slave ships. You see that with Cape Coast. Elmina Castle standing right there. Elmina Castle is not a building. It's not a church. That's where the boats would dock and carry slaves. Now, 
brothers and sisters, you had a remnant of you that remained back, that stayed here on the continent. Zephaniah 3 verse 10. You had a remnant of us that stayed back. Mm -hmm. What happened to your, father, your forefathers? They became colonized. Mm -hmm. They were colonized. They gave you white Jesus. They gave you churches. All of these churches in Ghana, they're not teaching you this. Why? Because they made an allegiance. The same people that say, Prince, ah, we should have we should have never fought against the white men. We should have been their friends. Ibroni so nice to me. <laughs> Ibroni give me food. Ibroni give me clothes. Ibroni give me everything. Ibroni give me white Jesus. Those are the same people. Those are the same people that do this right here. Get me um read read Zephaniah 3 verse 10. They forget this. They don't teach the truth. Read. Book of Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 10. Mm -hmm. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, mm -hmm. my suppliant, even the daughter of my dispersed. So you trying to tell me your pastors never read this? They read it, they hated it, they despised it. God is telling you from beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. What continent is Ethiopia on? Right now you are saying it's on the African continent. So what I'm saying, <laughs> Prince, where's Ethiopia? Uh, Ethiopia. Yes. Where's Ethiopia, Prince? Africa. Africa. What do you mean what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not there what are, I'm saying. That's basic things, geography. Th there are some things that you are making, trying to make it more clearer than we. Yes, it is. So, I know, but I'm asking you a basic question. So don't confuse is, your listeners. So is, That's so, what the pastors do. Yes. Don't do that. Listen. So I'm Ethiopia. Gonna, Ethiopia. Everybody Where's Ethiopia? knows it's an African. Country. Very good. Now watch this. From what? From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. What is the rivers of Ethiopia? You have the White Nile, where yes. it intersects and meets yes. the Blue Nile. Yes. God is telling you from beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. There's many countries beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. You mm -hmm. find Mozambique. You find Malawi. Mm -hmm. You find a whole bunch of different countries. Read. My suppliants, uh -huh. even the daughter of my despair. Stop. My suppliants, even, meaning indeed, the daughter of my dispersed. James, hold that, James 1 verse 1. Why is God saying from beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, the daughters of my dispersed, because we were scattered and kicked out of Israel in 70 AD, we migrated deeper south into Africa, where we set up kingdoms like the Ashanti kingdom, okay. the Mali kingdom, the Songhai empire, the kingdom of Judah. Watch this, Prince. James chapter 1 verse 1. Come on. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. So the twelve tribes were scattered abroad. God got rid of us, kicked us out. We were exiled under Roman persecution. But we seek refuge in Egypt. Just like our forefather Jacob was in Egypt. And Joseph was in Egypt. And Moses was in Egypt. Guess what? We went down to Egypt too. And then we started to migrate down south. Deeper beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. Go back to what you were holding. Read it again for Prince. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 10. Come on. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, mm -hmm. my suppliants, even the daughter of my despair, uh -huh. shall bring my offering. Mm -hmm. In that day shall not shall thou not be ashamed for all thy doings. Come on. Wherein thou hast transgressed against me. Right now we should be ashamed for our sins. All of us should get on our knees and pray to the Most High for mercy. We've all sinned. Go ahead. For then will I take away out of out of the midst of thee them that rejoice in thy pride. Go ahead. And thou shalt no more be haughty. So we have amongst us, we have people that rejoice in their pride. They don't want to repent. They hear this. We have a lot of people that don't want to repent. They don't want to leave these churches they're in. They don't want to repent as the Israelites and keep the commandments in a, under the faith of a black Christ. Yesu ye tum tum. Mm -hmm. Yes. Read. Come on. Because of my holy mountain. Come on. I will also live in the midst of thee, an afflicted and poor people. You are the afflicted and poor people. That's us. The afflicted and poor people beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. Who did God say they are? Go ahead. And they shall trust in the name of the Lord. Come on. The remnant of Israel. That's you. That's beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. That's you, Prince. You, you, you. Go ahead shall not do iniquity the remnant of israel shall not do iniquity nor speak lies nor speak lies neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth this is why we need christ the advocate the lawyer the governor the counselor he shall be called wonderful this is why we need him why because he died for our sins and when he come back he's coming back with a lot of anger he's coming back with rage he's coming back to save us 
But while we're being saved, there must be destruction for our enemies. Uh, okay, Deacon Isaac, before you continue with that, let me remind my listeners that uh, the phones, uh, phone lines are now activated, so you can call. Uh, if you have any contribution or any question to ask, you can call 0559 The phone lines are now activated, so you can call. If you have any question or any contribution to make, you can call Deacon it's over here. Meanwhile, the messages too, I'll be reading for Deacon to help us to clear understand, to get a clear understanding. Deacon, let's check. Hello. Uh, good evening. Your name and where you're speaking from? Your name is Pastor. Okay, Georgia Samwa. Okay, let's hear from you. Mm-hmm. Twelve. The 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 the, the, the family. Uh huh. Uh huh. Did you say twelve disciples? I said twelve tribes. Twelve tri- tribes. Tribes. Yes, the twelve tribes. So what did he he mention the scripture? What did he mention? What did he say? Mark. He said something. I I I I saw you making a reference about it. Okay. That that you were speaking that the fact that uh, Jesus Christ dying for everybody is a fallacy, mm-hmm. and he only died for the twelve uh, uh, tribes. Uh, yes, okay. and he disagreed with that. Okay, I think that is his main concern. Well, okay. First, of all, this is no this is no disrespect, but he doesn't know the Bible at all. First and foremost, he said the. 12 disciples, and I said 12 tribes. Then he turned around and said the 12 tribes of Judah. There's now no, I think he no, didn't get to... Well, but then he right. said the 12 tribes of Judah. Okay. It's called the 12 tribes of Israel. Yeah, of Israel. Okay, let me show you this. Give me Acts chapter 5, verse 29. Meanwhile, you can also still call if you have any question, any concern. Please on pass the call back. So let's hear from you. Yes, watch this, Prince. Mm-hmm. Watch this. This is basic common sense. But we have Ibruni so much in our mind that a lot of us don't have a lot of sense in common. Go ahead, go ahead. This is the book of Acts, chapter mm-hmm. 5, the verse 29. Mm-hmm. Then Peter and the other apostle answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. We ought to, to obey Ibroni. We ought to obey God rather than men. We ought to obey these pastors. We ought to obey God rather than men. Go ahead. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom he slew and hung on a tree. Mm-hmm. Him has God exalted with his right hand. To be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Read that again for Prince. <laughs> Verse 31. Mm-hmm. Him has God exalted with his right hand mm-hmm. to be a prince and a savior mm-hmm. for to give repentance to Israel. Read it again for the pastor that just called him. Him has God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel. Just in case he don't, uh, he doesn't understand the English, could you say it in tree? Uh, where are you reading this from? Let me. This guess. is Acts, Acts chapter. chapter. I know it, it doesn't. It doesn't sound believable, right? Yes. It goes against <laughs> everything a Bruni taught you. That's why you want to read it too. I know that's why you laugh. Uh, everything a Bruni Acts taught you is in the mind. Five so, so right now, you know what's one, going on. Okay. You know what's going on, Prince. Right <laughs> now, the white image of Jesus Christ is fighting the words that we're reading out of the Bible. That's why you said, wait, hold on, where, where are you reading this from? And this is, is this the Old Testament or New Testament? New Testament. This is the New Testament. Yesu Yetumtum. Yes, <laughs> Christ is a black man, Pastor. Christ is a black man, and he's only coming back for black people, Israelite people. Okay? Uh, read it okay, let me read this. Read it, read it Prince, read uh, it. Read Acts. Chapter uh, 5, verse chapter 31. Chapter 5, verse 31. Mm. That me can you see, I'm going to be answer. Acts chapter 5, verse 31. Or say, Mr. Omitubi, Onona Yankupon, man, or so a call, Ninifa as ne Israel, ne And that is what is written in Acts uh, chapter 5 verse yes. 31. New Testament. That is what they read in yes. English. Exactly. The reason, the reason, if you are listening to us, uh, that is what they read yes. in English. 
Yes. Basically, and we have about three minutes to and, and, and it's not it's not his program. it's not yes. his fault. When, it's not his fault. He just has been taught wrong. The same people that so you can still you. join us. You can still join us uh, by calling our phone lines activated zero five five nine eight six eight eight four one. We have about seven minutes yet. Instead, seven Luke minutes. Chapter one. Uh, seven minutes. We have about seven minutes to uh, end the program. So you can still call on zero five five nine eight six eight eight four one. If you have any concern, any question to ask, uh, we can uh, also help you to understand. Don't forget that we are talking about the fact that Christ died for everybody is a fallacy. He died for only the twelve uh, tribes of Israel. That is uh, what. Uh, pastor over here, Dickin Isaac, made clear to us. So you can <laughs> also call if you have any contribution or any question to us, you can call uh, call on zero five five nine eight six eight eight four one. Uh, also, I have so many messages I'll be reading, but meanwhile, let's hear from yes. you. Uh, Luke chapter Luke. one verse sixty eight. Watch this. Watch this, uh, Prince. Go ahead. Book of Luke chapter one, the verse sixty eight. Mm -hmm. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Are we in the New Testament? Yes, sir. New Testament. Go ahead. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Well, the Lord God of who? Lord God of Israel. Go ahead. For he has visited and redeemed his people. Redeemed his people. Possessive, possessive noun. His people's Israel. Go ahead. And has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Why? Because Christ comes out of the lineage of David. Go ahead. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophet. Mm -hmm. Which has been since the world began. So since the world began, Prince, mm -hmm. the prophets all spoke the same thing. Go ahead. That we. That who? That we. That we. Plural. We. Who's the we? The 12 tribes of Israel. Go ahead. Okay. Should be saved from our enemies. Shall be saved from what? Our enemies. Who's the enemies, Mr. Pastor? <laughs> the enemies is the one who taught you wrong. The enemies is the one who gave you Ibruni. The enemies is the one that told you Christmas, Easter, Mother's Day, Father's Day, birthdays. Oh, you can eat whatever you want. Bush meat. And I'm talking about the unclean bush meat. Oh, you can dress what will come as you are. That's the enemy. Go ahead. And from the hands of all that hate us. Only people that hate you bring you into slavery. Only people that hate you colonize and take your resources. God says the purpose of Christ is to save us from our enemies. Have we been saved yet? No, we're still here in captivity. Your brothers are still in the hands of Ibruni in America and the Caribbean islands. You are still colonized here. Burkino Faso and Mali is still trying to keep, keep the French out. Okay? Ghana is still in poverty. Where is your gold? Britain has your gold. They even give you back your golden stool during the Ashanti War. They gave you back a fake golden stool. You are still under the hand of Ibruni, your oppressor. Stop being dumb and stupid and docile. That's why the white man, they call, they call us stupid. They think Africans are stupid. They think African Americans are stupid. We're the only ones that want to worship our enemies in their religion. We're the only ones that do that madness, that stupidity. Leave from these Christian churches. If these pastors can't teach you right, leave them. Leave them. Leave them. Leave them. And come back to Christ. Come back to the black Messiah. Come back to the commandments of God. Uh, God says we shall be saved from our enemies and all they that hate us, not love us. Stop being stupid. Somebody says, as you ask, who are Gentiles? The Gentiles yes. or the other nations. When you read about the word Gentiles, mainly it's about the other nations. In some instances, it's talking about the Israelites who are in a Gentile state of mind, mm -hmm. like the pastor who just called. Is he celebrating Easter and, and, um, and uh, Christmas, or yep. is he keeping Passover and Tabernacle? If he's not doing that, he's yes. in a Gentile state of mind. Okay. The Israelites that were scattered abroad, those are the, the Israelites in a Gentile state of mind. Mm -hmm. Okay, now watch this. Kingdom of Heaven. Who is it for? The uh, past that, that, that brings us to another question. Uh -huh. Bridget, Bridget just says, mm -hmm. you've been mentioning of kingdom of, of uh, heaven. Heaven, yeah. Where is that kingdom? The there? kingdom is going to be established on earth okay. as it is in heaven. Okay. In earth, earth, earth. That's why we read Daniel chapter 2 verse 43. It says, when Christ comes, the rock comes, he's going to consume all of governments, right? All kingdoms, which yeah. translates okay. to governments. In Isaiah 9, verse 6, and on down, we read that what? 
that he's going to have an increase of his government, it's going to be established on earth. Ibruni is going to be in slavery. Now, let me repeat that again. I know that pastor who called in, he's probably going to catch a heart attack. You'll be all right. Go drink some water. Eat some, drink some water. Cool down. You're going to be all right. When Christ come back, Ibruni is going into slavery. These nations are not going to be in the kingdom of heaven. Let's read it. Revelation chapter 21 and verse 12. Who is the kingdom of heaven for? Is it for all nations like the pastor just said mm -hmm. who has not been taught right? Mm -hmm. Let's see what God says. Go ahead. Book of Revelation chapter 21, the verse 12. Mm -hmm. And had a wall great and high. Prince, what are we reading about? The kingdom of heaven. Yes. Heaven had a wall great and high. Go ahead. And had 12 gates. Oh, had what? 12 gates. Dominion. Dominion. 12. <laughs> Dominion. Ah, uh, Dominion. Ah, uh, 12. Ah, <laughs> Dominion. Yes. 12! 12! Not a million! Not all nations! It had 12 gates! Go ahead! And at the gates, 12 angels! These angels were the security guards! These big black angels, those were the security guards! Go ahead, come and on! The, and names written down! And names written on the gates, Prince! Go ahead! Which are the names? 12 so, tribes! At this time, I wish to summarize everything for our listeners and even myself! <laughs> So, uh, what are you telling our listeners today, in summary? Okay, I'm telling you that Yesu Yetun mm -hmm. that's one, and we got to repent. We have to repent, come back together. In Zephaniah 2 verse 1, it says, to gather ye together, gather a nation not desired. We are the least desired by the other nations, but we are the most desired by God. And God wants us to repent, keep the commandments and the faith of his son. Let's gather together, Israel, gather together. Leave from these churches. Leave from these churches, leave Islam, come back to the Bible, come back to your true heritage as Israelites. You can visit us at www.israelunite.org. That's www.israelunite.org. You, so, you can also follow us on Facebook, IUIC Ghana on Facebook, and IUIC Ghana, IUIC Ghana on YouTube. We also have a school here um, every Saturday. We keep the Sabbath at 12 o'clock, 12.30 onward at I. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.